Lawmakers here in New Mexico are pushing a bill that would change how officers use physical force. News 13's Madison Connor joins us live in studio breaking down that bill. Good morning, Madison. Good morning, David. Senate Bill 252 is being called the Law Enforcement Officer Procedures Act. It's aimed at holding officers and departments accountable and to build a safe standard of interactions. I understand that law enforcement, they're in a tough position. They're doing the, the toughest job out there, right, especially with what's going on in our communities. Um, but we need to hold it to that standard because we can't afford um, people losing their lives. The bill would create a standard for law enforcement in the entire state, changing how officers handle all situations before they end up deadly, whether that's by using physical force or a weapon. Senator Harold Pope Jr. says the force policies they are trying to get rid of are techniques we've already seen complaints about, like chokeholds or any tactic used to block an airway. Pope says he also would want to see fellow officers in the field hold their team accountable if they see something happening that is wrong. There should be a responsibility for our law enforcement officers to intervene as well. But we've also added protections to where when they intervene, they're not being retaliated against. The goal is to get officers to de-escalate the situation first when possible and use less deadly options like tasing to bring a suspect in. Pope Jr. says APD and BCSO already implemented some rules laid out in the bill, but he wants to see it implemented statewide and enforced. He says it will be a team effort between legislators and officers. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Madison. Now, we did reach out to APD and BCSO for comment on the bill, and neither could comment on the proposed legislation.